As in heaven, so on earth. As in the subconscious, so on earth. You can use sleep to manifest anything you want. Why? Because when you are about to sleep, you are performing at alpha and theta brainwave states. These brainwave states were the brainwave states that you performed on when you were from 1 to 7 years old. What is that? That is the hypnosis. You were hypnotized when you were a kid to make sense of the world. So anything that was said to you, you took it as a fact into the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind runs 95% of your day-to-day -day activities. So now, when you reprogram your subconscious mind and put a new program in it, now you are changing your life, literally. You can actually change your financial status. You can change anything in your life and you can have anything in your life because the subconscious is working 24-7. And the door to the subconscious is when you are performing at alpha and theta brainwave states, not in high beta. High beta is the analytical mind. So in today's video, I'm giving you the best technique ever that you can use to just reprogram your subconscious mind. And in today's video, I'm telling you how you can actually do it effortlessly, without any effort, the easy way. But make sure that you follow the steps correctly. This is Feeling is the Secret by Neville Goddard. Whatever you have in consciousness as you go to sleep is the measure of your expression in the waking two-thirds of your life on earth. What you are falling asleep doing, you will experience in your life. It's just like holding a brush and the subconscious mind is the canvas. And what you are imagining before you go to bed is the painting that you are painting on that canvas. Just like that. When you are impressing the subconscious mind, you are making a stroke on that canvas until you make a beautiful picture or an ugly one. It's up to you. What you are falling asleep doing will determine what you will experience in your life. Nothing stops you from realizing your objective. Save your failure to feel that you are already that which you wish to be or that you are already in possession of the thing sought. Your subconscious gives form to your desires only when you feel your wish fulfilled. So once you are feeling the wish to be fulfilled when you are about to go to sleep, you will be encountering certain things and certain events in your life that will lead you to actually have the thing that you impressed upon the subconscious mind. Say for example that you are imagining yourself in your dream car before going to bed and you are feeling relieved. You are feeling so happy and so well that you just fell asleep in that state. You fell asleep so happy and so grateful and in a state of thankfulness. And you wake up the next day and all of a sudden your car is breaking down. It cannot perform well. Everything in it is just trash and you feel like you need a new car. Don't panic. This is one of the steps that will lead you to get to that car that you want. Sometimes it can be like that. Sometimes something has to fall in order for something to be built. And sometimes it will just be like so magical. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to even lift a finger. What Neville Goddard meant by you don't even need to lift a finger is this. When you impress the subconscious mind, you will do things so naturally to the point that you would say it would have happened anyway. Not because you imagined it. You would just say like it would have happened anyway. It's not my imagination. But the fact is, you imagined it, and this is why it happened. If you didn't imagine it, it wouldn't have happened. This is the fact. So be careful of what you are entertaining before going to sleep. You need to solicit your attention. This is why I'm telling you sometimes, you need to have a strong muscle of the mind first. You have to solicit your attention to a point that you can focus on one thing for a long period of time. This is why the law of attraction back in the day wasn't called that in the ancient civilizations. You have to get into a state of like maybe being an initiate first. You have to go into the temple sciences of Egypt, for example. And you have to study the mind and study the right brain, the left brain perspective, the modes of perception, the intellect of the heart. This was so popular back in the day in the ancient temple science because this was so sacred because every thought you are thinking and every feeling you are giving you are actually experiencing that in the real world. It affects everything. You are affecting the world. 
You are affecting everything around you by your thoughts because you are shifting to another parallel reality that is more compatible with what you want or what you are conscious of being. This is the key. What you are falling asleep doing and what you feel yourself to be, you will experience. What you can sense to be true about yourself, about your world, about everything around you, you will experience. And this is a fact. You have to only entertain good thoughts. I'm not telling you to just neglect and suppress the bad thoughts. No, all I'm telling you is observe these thoughts, but don't entertain them. Just observe their existence. So you are not validating, like you are not entertaining them. You are validating their existence only. And then you are just being optimistic. I'm good. Like, I don't choose that route. I'm choosing another route, which is being more happy, more grateful about the things that I have. And once you solicit your attention, you can fall asleep with the feeling of the wish fulfilled without just thinking about everything in your day. You will just think about one thing and one thing only, the wish fulfilled, the thing that you want to experience, as if you are experiencing it now. Because remember, everything is here and now. You are changing in the multiverse when you change your state of being. The unconsciousness of sleep is the normal state of the subconscious because all things comes from within yourself. And your conception of yourself determines that which comes. You should always feel the wish fulfilled before you drop off to sleep. And once you do, expect miracles. But just persist in it until one day you will wake up and you will feel so satisfied. You'll feel so satisfied to the point that you won't even want to imagine that thing anymore. You would feel that it is done. It's already done. You don't have to do anything anymore. You will feel the relief. Because you would feel like you have it right now. Why would you look for something if you already have it? And this is the key, guys. Once you know the secret that when you are having a thing, you won't even look for it, then you will understand the law of assumption. When to stop imagining is when you feel the fulfillment of your desire, even in the waking hours. You never draw out of the deep of yourself that which you want. You always draw that which you are. Because you never attract what you want. You attract that which you are. You attract what you are conscious of being. You don't get what you want. You get what you are conscious of being. So what is your conception of yourself? If it's not the way you wanted, you can change that. And you can change it right now. Just decide that you are the man or the woman that you want to be. And act as if it's happening. Do it as much as possible without forcing it. Just for fun. Just for the experience. Because when you are experiencing something, you don't have to believe it. Right now, I'm experiencing like sitting on a chair. I don't have to believe that right now I'm sitting on a chair. I experienced it, so I know it's true. This is what you should do too. You can just imagine the people around you congratulating you on your good fortune or a new car, a new house, a new relationship, whatever. So just experience that. And once you experience it day after day, one day you will wake up and just be like, I'm fine. It happened. So I don't need to look for it. You will just go through a series of events. And sometimes you won't even go through a series of events. It will just happen like that. And you will experience things that will eventually lead you to the realization of your desire. But you should have a focused attention, like a laser beam on the thing that you want. And if you want to know all the techniques and choose which one is working for you, then my ebook is in the link in the description box. I made this ebook for myself initially but eventually i made it to the public because many of you guys were asking me how do i do this how do i do this technique that technique so i gathered all the techniques in a 26 page ebook and i published it if you want to check that ebook the link in the description box but all i want you to do today right now right now just meditate for five minutes and focus on one thing only and when you feel like your brain is going somewhere else bring it back to the thing that you want Try that out for three days and maybe do the latter exercise because this is a true experiment that you can do to just prove to yourself that the law of assumption works because it does. So it's your turn now to change your life. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and I know you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video to reach more people because many people need to know this knowledge. Tell me down below in the comments what do you want to see next and what do you think. And until next video, I'll see you soon.